Hey guys, welcome back to another Bottissimo tutorial. My name is Toby, and today I'll be going through every step in order to start streaming with Bottissimo. And I'll give you a hint, there are not a lot of steps required. Bottissimo has almost every tool at your disposal to start streaming, and with so many features available at your disposal, you could technically spend hours tweaking and customizing your stream to the perfect setup. However, Bottissimo also offers a really straight path that offers everything you need to get started and up and running with streaming. And this is without having to go through each feature and customizing them to your liking. You just plug and play and you're good to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and run you through these steps on how to get set up with Bautismo and start streaming in less than 10 minutes. Let's go ahead and get right into it. Okay, so the first thing that you're gonna wanna do is sign up for a Twitch or YouTube account. For most people, when they wanna stream, they wanna stream on Twitch because the community is simply there. So I'm gonna go ahead and sign up for an account right here. You click sign up in the upper right hand corner. I already have an account, so I'm just gonna run you through the process real quick. Pick out a username, then go to your password, just confirm that password, go to your date of birth, and then enter in your phone number, or you can use an email instead, and then hit sign up. And that's all you need to to do to get a Twitch account. It's pretty simple. Next, what you're gonna do is connect your Twitch account to your streaming broadcasting software of your choice. In this scenario, I'm gonna go ahead and use OBS because it's the most popular streaming software and it's also really easy to use. So let's just go ahead and go into OBS right here. We're gonna go into our settings in the bottom right hand corner right here. We're gonna go to stream, we're gonna go to Twitch and since I already have an account connected, it's not gonna prompt me to sign up or connect a existing account. But in this case, it's gonna have a button that says connect account. You're just gonna click that, sign into your YouTube or Twitch account, and you're good to go. So once you've done that, you're gonna hit okay, and you'll be back to the OBS streaming software. The next thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is actually navigate to your Bautissimo dashboard. So in this case, I've already got it pulled up right here. And then first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna grab a stream frame. And this is essentially just an overlay that looks really professional and has all of your widgets and notifications such as subscriptions, donations, followers, and even a live viewer account all in one browser overlay. So in order to get there, we're just gonna navigate down to engage. We're gonna go to stream frame. We're gonna change our theme to something else that we enjoy. So in this case, let's see, I really like, this blue fiber one is super sick. So I'm gonna go ahead and click that one. That's gonna change my stream frame. I'm gonna go ahead and hide panel. Now we're gonna customize our widgets and our notifications that we want to pop up on our stream. So you can see in the lower hand bar right here of your stream frame that we have a couple of notifications. For label one, I just wanna do viewers. Label two, we'll do latest follower. Label three, we'll go ahead and do latest subscriber. And then label four, we'll just do a world clock just because a lot of people on Twitch are global and so they're trying to figure out what time you're actually streaming and this makes it a lot easier for them. So once you have your stream frame kind of configured to your liking, all you're gonna do is copy your URL. We're gonna go back into our OBS broadcasting software. We're gonna add a new scene. We're gonna hit browser input, and we'll just call this stream frame like that. We're gonna create new. We're gonna take our URL that we copied from Bautismo's dashboard into OBS. So we're gonna paste it right here. Make sure we don't have any spaces. Make sure you set the width to 1920 by 1080. This is a 1080p overlay, so you make sure you wanna take advantage of that. So 1920 by 1080, Oop, 1080. Make sure that there's no custom CSS in the actual browser source. We're gonna delete that and we're gonna click okay. So now you can see that we have a really nice looking stream overlay that looks really professional. It looks like it was done by a professional designer. The next thing that you wanna do is add your game capture your desktop audio, your microphone audio, and your webcam. So in order to do all that, it's a very simple process. All you have to do is click the add button right here in your sources, click that, go to audio input capture, create a new one. So for in this case, I'm just gonna do Rode pod mic because that's the type of microphone that I have, like so. We're gonna click okay. We're gonna go to device and we're gonna go to our USB audio codec and we're gonna click okay. So now we've got a Rode pod mic installed. The next thing that we wanna do is add our audio desktop capture. And so this is that people can actually hear the audio that's going on in your stream. So we're gonna go ahead and do the same process that we did with the stream frame. We're gonna go ahead and click audio output capture. We're just gonna say, this is desktop sound like so, we're gonna create okay. Now we're gonna use the actual source of your desktop sound. In this case for me, it's gonna be the speakers Realtek Audio. So we're gonna hit that. 
we're gonna click OK. And now we've got both our desktop audio and our audio input, AKA our microphone, both enabled into our OBS software. The next thing you wanna do is add your game capture. So in this case, you can either do an actual game capture itself where it recognizes what game is actually playing, or you can just do a simple desktop capture which captures your whole entire monitor screen. In this scenario, I'm gonna go ahead and do a desktop capture because I wanna show things that are not just the game, but also like YouTube videos, tweets, whatever I really wanna put up on my stream. I'm gonna follow the same steps as I did with our Rode Pod mic and our desktop sound and our stream frame. I'm gonna hit add, but this time I'm gonna to go to display capture. I'm gonna create new, I'm just gonna say this is display one. I'm gonna click okay, and then we're gonna change it to display two. And now you can see that we have a game capture or display capture going on. The next thing you wanna do is actually adjust this display capture so it fits inside of your actual stream overlay. So I'm gonna go ahead and drag display one down below stream frame. So that way we can actually get that overlay looking nice and pretty. I'm just gonna go ahead and adjust our display so that it fits in this box right here. I'm gonna go ahead and just center it real quickly. It's not too hard. You don't have to be perfect with it. Yeah, and I'm saying that looks good. And so now we're almost done completing our stream. The next thing that you wanna do is one more time, we're gonna add our webcam in here. And unfortunately, because I am using my webcam in Streamlabs to record this video, I cannot show that actual display going on within OBS as well. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna follow the same steps as we did with these previous sources. We're gonna go to add video capture device. We're gonna just create a new one. I'm just gonna call this, let's just call it Razor. We're gonna create new. We're gonna click okay. And then this is where you'd usually select the webcam that you actually have. In this scenario, mine is the USB video device, but because we can't use that, I'm just gonna show you what it looks like with the OBS virtual camera, which is just gonna show a simple graphic like this. Make sure you have all your settings tweaked. Usually I just like to leave everything on default because it doesn't really need any more adjustments. It's already in 1080p. So in this case, I'm just gonna click okay. I'm gonna set it below my display one or my stream frame actually. And then I'm just going to adjust it for for the webcam right here. Boom, now we have a webcam that's in right now and we're all good. The last thing that you wanna do is make sure that you connect your Twitch or YouTube account to your Bottissimo account. So this way you can get all the notifications, all the latest followers, subscribers, your chat, and even a couple other additional features that we have within Bottissimo's dashboard. So in order to do this, we're just gonna go back into our browser. We're gonna go to our Bottissimo account. We're gonna go to our connections. And this is where you can see all of your connections that are currently integrated into Bottissimo. In order to do so, all you have to do is click the add connection button, go to Twitch, and then it'll redirect you to your Twitch login, which is where you can actually just finish logging in, just like so. In this case, I actually have a token that I need to input because I have two-factor authentication. And then you're just gonna click Authorize, and it'll redirect you back to Bottissimo. And then you have your connections already set up. So at this point, you're actually ready to stream. That's all you need to do with Bottissimo. It's very simple, it's click, drag and repeat. That's all you need to do. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, feel free to leave a like to show your support and go ahead and join our community discord as well, where there are tons of people looking to help each other out and just grow their individual streams and brands on Twitch. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. Peace.